Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Twinkle Rujuba. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video will be me showing you how I store my tomatoes so that it will last me for a very long time. A little different from what we do here, but make sure you watch till the end and I hope you enjoyed this one. Towards the end of summer, tomatoes are always in season and they are very affordable. Each of these boxes cost about $9 and during this time we buy and store them and usually it will last till the next tomato season. I still have the ones remaining from last year. So over here I have four boxes and in this video I'll be making use of three boxes and the remaining one I'll be using it to make tomato paste which I'll be showing you in another video. Please make sure you look out for that video. First thing I'll go ahead and give them a proper wash. I do take my time to wash it because most of the time you find that some parts are about to spoil even though they will still appear very fresh and i usually cut out the head parts with a knife in this video i'll be showing you the two ways i preserve my tomatoes so that they last for a very long time i have tomatoes that is more than a year in my freezer and i'll be showing you how i do that so after giving them a proper wash we'll just go straight into the process i take my time to give them this wash because there are a lot of them there are quite a lot of them so i'm trying to see that i wash every part of it this is a typical example why you should take your time and wash them thoroughly so what i do is just to cut it out and this is exactly one box um this is one box of the tomatoes and this one the first method is just for me to put them in a ziploc bag and throw them in the freezer so this ziploc bag is is the heavy duty ziploc bag is very long and very big so this i used about three bags of it to store this one carton of tomatoes so for one carton this is what i got and it will be going into the freezer so this i would have used a smaller ziploc bag if i wanted but this one is just it's just very economical for me so i'm just gonna go ahead and throw this into the freezer and this method is just the simplest method that i use it is very very easy i just throw it into the freezer and anytime i need it i'll just open it and take out the quantity that i want so for those that remember my oil video how to store palm oil this is still my palm oil after a year so now this one is just a typical example of the one i stored last year so this one that i'm opening now is the tomatoes from last year and it's still very fresh please don't mind the shaki written on that bag it is the one i used to store the last shaki that i did so this is it and we'll go over to the next two boxes so now i am just gonna cut them and i'll be blending them so we are done with one box this is the second and the third boxes so after blending all of them i'm just going to pour it in a pot so if you have a pot that will contain all the tomatoes that will be perfect i don't have a pot that contains all of it because they are quite big so i used two um so now this is after an hour of cooking look at the water on top you can see the water on top so after about an hour 30 minutes i brought it down you can see that water flowing on top it's a sign that it's almost ready to be drained so this bag this sack that i'm using traveled all the way from nigeria to canada this is what i've been using in nigeria and i came to canada with it so i'm going to be using it today um to sieve the water so what i did is just to pour the tomatoes into the bag um this will help drain the water and from there we can now get the real tomatoes that we need so instead of wasting hours trying to cook all of them i just boiled it for a little just about an hour 30 minutes like i said and i brought it out poured it into the sack 
this is the amount of water that drained out just immediately i poured it into the bag um this is just clear water there's no tomatoes in this and i went ahead to tie it i was trying to tie it very hard it was very difficult so mr rujiba had to go to my rescue shout out to mr rujiba like you to help out so it was what i helped me out to tie it very very tight and we allowed it to stay overnight it continued to drain till morning so by the next morning this is what we have that two boxes of tomatoes this is what we have the end result so when you open it this is what you have this is our fresh tomatoes and i'm just going to now go ahead and put them in bags and this is the water that drained overnight this is the water we got after we left it overnight it was about four cups so just for easy access i just poured it out in this colander and i'm just going to put some of it in the jars and then i put some in the ziploc bags and these jars you can just put them in your kitchen counter they are going to last you for about six months to even eight months and as long as you want it okay just make sure you only open when you want to use it and if you open it and you don't finish it that means it will now have to go to the fridge so after putting this in the jars i had to boil the jar just put about um two cups of water in a pot and i cooked the jars so this is the end result i could have used um a smaller ziploc bags if i wanted but this size is still it's just okay for me so for everything i want to make i can just bring out this ziploc bag and take the scoops that i want and um, for this bag now i can use it maybe twice and just as the family of four is going to be enough so this is how i store my tomatoes so that it will last me for a very long time with that we've come to the end of this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up um, also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my uploads let me know how you store your tomatoes in the comments section and let me also know what you think about this method and which one will be easier for you which one do you prefer i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys